Slendy the False Widow. Not suitable for spiderphobes, arachnophobes. Um. Hello YouTube, Loki Rat here. So, I found this shy creature at the foot of my stairs the other day. Her eyes are so spooky I decided to call her Slendy. But now I realise Slenderman doesn't have eyes. Oops! But she does. In every picture of her face, her eyes are so bright. On researching, I realise I meant something else. The rake. Oh well, I've named her now. Might as well stick with it. Slendy decided to show herself yesterday, so I sent these photos to the Natural History Museum, who have positively ID'd her as a false widow. She doesn't have the usual markings, so I needed an expert opinion. I have jarred her for her safety. Hubby doesn't like spiders, and I don't want accidental spider squishings happening. Oh my, those eyes. So shiny and determined. A false widow's bite is as bad as a wasp sting, and unlike wasps, they won't seek you out and fly around your face trying to steal any sweet treats you have. Oh, I hate wasps, I really do. All she wants to do is sit and chill. So I thought I'd search YouTube for false widows and I found this video by Grimpus, and I was inspired to make her a better habitat, though she won't have a TV remote like this spoiled spider. I filled a bigger jar with sticks, stones, and an air hole or two. Lots of places to hide and hang out. Safe from heavy shoes and rolled up newspapers, a peaceful place to call home. There she is, hiding, all tucked up and cosy. You can't see me, I is a rock with legs. I wonder if she'll get any bigger, how old she is, where she's from. Oh, I wish I could speak spider. Well, that's all for now. Maybe she'll want to do another video soon. For now, let's let her settle. Say bye, Slendy.